So a question I get asked quite a lot is, what's the best exercise to build muscle? Now, when you actually look at the exercises to actually build the most muscle, so the biggest bang for your buck in sort of the shortest amount of time, because everybody wants the quickest route to start to develop the body. So there is certain exercises that are a lot better than others for building muscle. But what I've learned over the years, that it is not just that straightforward, um, and it's very sort of very time consuming to think that you have to do certain exercises to build muscle okay so i'm gonna i'll give you an example um of something i've learned about sort of training people over the years and the benefits that i've got from sort of thinking outside the box a little bit more so i'll give you the conventional squat so when i was one-on-one -on -one training years ago um there was just i used to just think that you know i needed to try and get all my clients to squat with the barbell because that was the bit best and fastest way to build the quads um, and it worked for me, um, mainly because I'm about four foot fuck all. So, of course, the certain exercises, especially the barbell squat, is going to work for me. So I tried to get all my clients to do that. But what I found was, over the years, the people that are probably a little bit taller than average height cannot necessarily do the barbell squat as quickly as possible and as quickly as that I could possibly do. So what I'd spent is I'd spent three months, for example, teaching people different techniques, working on flexibility, working on mobility, to eventually, after the three months, they could do the barbell squat. But then when you look at the actual reasons why I was wanting somebody to do the barbell squat and the sort of the, why they wanted to do the barbell squat was develop the quads a little bit more. So when you actually look at that, for three months, I've spent all my time trying to, I might have achieved the goal and I'd be able to use barbell squats in the programming, but what do the quads look like? Probably not very much because we've not been able to do a great deal of work. So what I do now is that generally majority of people, do I think it is worth spending time and energy getting somebody to do something like the barbell squat when they're really not mechanically sound to do that? Do I think it's really worth doing it? Because in three months time, I might be able to get them to squat, but somebody who generally doesn't really want to go on stage or doesn't really want to, just wants to look a little bit better, in that three months time, the motivation, because they've not actually seen any particular results in the legs, then the motivation is going to be down. So we can just switch it. And what we do quite a lot now is that if somebody can't do that, then we just switch the exercise to maybe like a dumbbell split squat. So the, within the three months that they've been training with us, the motivation is massively up because guess what? The difference in the legs is massive. So that is just an example and something that I've learned over the years. So is the particular exercise that better for building muscle? Yeah, of course there is. But can majority of us stick to them sort of rules to get the very best results and make sure that motivation stays high? High? Absolutely not.